All right, so I'm just working on uh, this header box here. All right, so I'm just working on this header box here. I'm gonna try to build it out of this. something else with. All right, so now I'm just making the, uh, the sides for this box. All right, so I got this cut there. Now I'm just going to cut along here. This will be one of the sides and I'll use this piece for some, I'm going to make some feet for the sluice box, the legs in the sluice box. So I'm just going to, the legs are that, is that, is that threaded, see that threaded length of, of uh, a rod and I'm just going to weld some, some uh, stuff on there so I can thread it into, the thread is threaded in basically. But I'm going to do this first. All right, everyone, I hope everybody's having a good day. So today I'm just uh, kind of going through my list on everything I need to do on the trommel. Uh, right now it's February 3rd, I think, 2024. And I am, um, yeah, I just got, kind of got a day, I got nothing to do here. So just kind of planning some things for the trommel. Kind of figure, kind of thinking, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, if I'm going to go down and bring the trommel, bring it back to Fairview, or if I'm just going to get everything kind of prepared here and then bring it down and work on there. But... But anyway, I'm just kind of figuring out what I can do here, just because of time, time-wise, I guess. Uh, get a few things done around here. So, when I do actually do it on the trommel, I uh, kind of have a bunch of stuff done. So, um, when I was at the uh, place by Quinnell there, I was taking the picture. When I was at the, uh, the uh, Rooster, Rooster's Campground there in Quinnell, I was... Uh, if you can look at a couple videos back when I was walking around there, I was, uh, I was, um, this is my pile of supplies I got so far. I got this piece of metal here, 
that was just leftovers from the uh, metal I got put on my trailer. And I got my wind, uh, windshield for the backhoe, spare tire for the trommel, and just some random pieces of metal I have for getting this stuff done. So I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm kind of going through these pictures, and I'm going to, I think what I'm going to tackle first is I'm going to try to build a, a new header box for the trommel for using the backhoe to, uh, or the excavator to uh, feed the trommel. So, yeah, it's it's uh, February and it's we had we got a bunch of minus 40 for a while and now it's all warm and melting again, as you can see. Anyway, uh, so yeah, just getting everything prepared. So I'm gonna kind of just look at these pictures and I'm going to I think I'm gonna try to use this piece of metal to build the trom or the header box. So. I'm thinking this width, I'm gonna have to make sure that it's gonna width wide enough for the for the um, uh, bucket, but I'm gonna do some measuring. But I think I'm gonna try to use this piece of metal for the header box. And here I got the uh, spray bar, chunk of section for the spray bar. I'm gonna try to make a new spray bar because I broke the the one a bunch of times last year, so. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna put a guard in there so hopefully no flat rocks can get in between the grouser bars and the and the uh, spray bar and break it again. So that was the only problem. It was just those little flat, those medium-sized flat rocks that we're doing it to break the to break it. All right, so over here at Dunvegan Fab at Fairview, Alberta, and I just got this metal here. <laughs> 